My name's Dwayne Belcher. I'm the pre-engineering teacher here at Westlake High School. Right, this is a super event. It gets bigger every year. Right? This year, I estimate we had at least 150 people here. How many teams total did you all have competing this year? We had seven schools here with nine crafts. My name is Angie Dutch. I'm with uh, Westlake High School LSAC and I came to support our children in all of their endeavors. This is a very exciting event. We're glad to see the children participate and hope to see this become an annual event here at Westlake. I like the fact that the students were able to build things and then make them work. see more participation on behalf of the parents and students. I think that we can have a more wide-scale event. Um, there are a few schools that were here today, but um, this is providing some engineering type experience for the kids. So, you know, um, giving them that type of experience before they move on to college is very key. So. And this is a field that children should really focus in and parents should be behind the students 100% to ensure that they get the necessary skills that they need for the coming um, society. What was the best aspects of your design this year which helped y'all seal a third place victory? Um, I guess I would say the extra fan, I mean the extra blower on the back, it gave us more speed. I would say our disadvantage was me not turning right, not having as much speed as I did last year. It gave us, that also gave us a disadvantage. Yeah, this one won two years ago, so we had to get this one because we thought it was going to be good. And this one was our brand new design. And we just figured with the fan right here and these two small fans, or blowers, they will help it go faster. But the suction messed it all up, so that's what we need to work on next year. Very fair competition and difficult competition. A lot of different ideas. And uh, it was pretty cool to see all the people with their um, different hovercrafts there. How did you like the competition? Oh, it was great. I loved it. Great competition all, all around. I love to see all the young students racing and getting their intellectual skills and trying to change the world. Yeah, shout out to my man, Corey. Go, Corey! We, I, I eventually figured out that the one corner of the leaf, or I mean of the hovercraft, that like to lean to the side more, and this is the one corner I needed to turn around. So I just, I used that to my advantage and it turned out pretty good. is move this event outside and use gas-powered vehicles instead of electric and we wouldn't have any of the problems with the first break. Well next year, uh, maybe we will uh, go with a gas-powered motor and get rid of the cords because that's we got tangled up. It was like a, uh, we have a problem with the current and then tripping up the breakers. So. That way we could do it on the football field or on the track or someplace so we have a lot more room to maneuver. So maybe next year we we'll go with uh, external combustion engines, external combustion engines, internal, I mean, internal combustion engines, small engines, take it outside and we'll, you know, see how that works. I uh, appreciate y'all coming out. Everybody, it takes everybody's support to make these things operate. All right, thank you. Thanks a lot.